Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to add your donator information to your stream broadcast. Um, this is uh, actually pretty easy to accomplish with a program that has come out from a person called NightDev, who is also known for doing a few other projects on Twitch TV. I'll put the link in the description below. It's very simple to set up, basically just a few text files. Let me turn off the game to show you. And as you can see, it's just a few scrolling text files and maybe a couple labels to help you out. Now, uh, let me show you how to set this up. Okay, once you download the file and unzip it, this is what the folder will contain. Um, the executable application itself, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, I made a shortcut on my desktop right here. And then these are the three text files that you're going to load into XSplit or OBS. You have donator list, most recent donator, and top donator. Those are just plain text files that are created by the program. You also have your sound file that you can use to play when you get a new donation. You can change that to whatever you like. You just need to specify it in the options. And I'll show you how to change your options right now. You need to open your settings file. Uh, you can just right click at it. Um, okay, and here's the information you need to fill out. Okay, now mine's already filled out, but put in your channel name. Now the API, this is very, very important. This API is not from your Twitch page. This is actually going to be found on your donator tracker page. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. First things first, you need to connect it with Twitch. After you do that, it will show you the API key. Now make sure you put that API key into here, not the one from Twitch. That one. Okay, after you fill out the API key, there's a few other options you need to fill out. Um, you also have, if you'd like to reset every day your daily top donation, you can do that. Um, you can set the minimum threshold for playing the sound. You can also set how many people to keep on the recent donation list. You can tell it whether you want it to play the sound or not. You can even have a separate sound for if you get a new top donation. And right here is where you set the actual output of the file to how you want your text files to display your information. Changing these variables is how you can get your own custom look to your donation screens. Now after you have your file set up and you run the donation executable, and when the black uh, DOS box opens up, you just minimize it and let it run while you stream, and it will capture any incoming donations. So how do you get your donations? Uh, the donation link is provided right here. Uh, copy that, put it onto your Twitch page, and people can click on that to donate. Make sure you fill out your information here with your email address so that it goes to PayPal correctly. Um, you can put a message to whoever donates to you, and they'll see a thank you message or whatever you'd like to put. And after you fill that out, that's basically all the setup it needs. Uh, just distribute your donation link, put it out on uh, your Twitch page, and as donations come in, you can look at this page and track them. See exactly where they're coming from, how much, and if they happen to leave you any notes. Now let's take a look and see what this looks like on the other side from your viewer's perspective. Okay, and here's my simple Twitch page. And um, just for example, to show you, you, scroll down to the boxes here. After you set them up, just put the link that was provided into there. And once you click on it, you can see that it takes you to the donation page. Everything's already set up for you. Um, you just need to fill out the amount, and if you want to put your Twitch username, otherwise it will show up as anonymous. Once you click Send Donation, it takes you directly to PayPal. After the payment is confirmed, the donator can even leave you a message. They can click the link uh, right there, and after they do that, that message, if you wish, you can display it on your stream as well. See how I have set up at the bottom where it says no message. That was from the first donation. Nothing was there. This time on the pretend donation, we'll just say great job. Anyway, after you pay, we'll take a look at the program. It just takes a very short time to update. And as 
soon as that happens, all of my message is changed as well. You see where now it says anonymous, and I have the message, great job, at the bottom. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And if you did find this video helpful, make sure you give it a like. Or if you do make money on your stream and you're feeling generous, give me a donation back. Thanks a lot.